Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C Sharp tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss about type conversion in C Sharp. Sometimes you need to convert one type of data to another type and this thing is called type conversion. We have two type of conversion in C Sharp. First one is implicit conversion, second one is explicit conversion. Implicit conversion is possible when a type that is going to be converted is kind of similar to the new type in which you are going to convert it. Example, an integer can be converted into a long. An integer can also be converted into double. But if you try to convert a double into integer, then it's not possible without losing any value. It means it is going to be truncated then it will be converted so let's try here this implicit conversion and for that I'm going to create a new file let's add a class and name it part 3 Now let's define uh, main method public static main sorry it should be void main okay fine now what we need to do we have to choose a class that is going to be run so for that we have to select a project default project for this because now we have two main methods and we can't run application with two methods so for that we have to select a startup project otherwise it is going to give an error okay so let's generate that error for now I'm just gonna write here console dot right line hello let's run this and it is saying would you like to continue because we have some error program has more than one entry point compiled with main to specify the type that contains entry point so right now we have more than one method that's why it is giving us error for that we need to do we need to right click here and select this properties and inside that we have to select our startup project so where is our startup project it should be right here okay it's here now we are gonna select this part 3 fine okay so okay so we are gonna select this part 3 fine now it should not be problematic okay we are fine so let's do that implicit conversion so here int a equals to 5 and let's write here double d equals to a implicit conversion we are directly assigning a which is an integer type to the double double type d and let's see the output of this program so right here console dot right line d okay so here is not any problem if we write here long l equals to 5 
so there should not be any problem sorry long l equals to a now it should not be any problematic so right here console dot log right line l yeah it's fine again let's see what if I write this double D equals to six and int A equals to D. Print A here. Let's see what it is saying. So it means we cannot cast double to int. Okay, so I'm gonna con I'm gonna comment this thing. Now let's type decimal de equals to three point two five. Now let's try to convert it into integer. So int a equals to de, and it is also going to give us error. And it is saying we cannot implicitly convert decimal to integer. So only simple kind of conversion is possible with this implicit conversion. To do these kind of conversion, we need an explicit conversion. So if we do not worry to lose that data, we can use this explicit conversion. So let's try here something like this and it will be int sorry it's not a decimal type it's a double type so it is not also possible with implicit conversion we need to do convert it explicitly like this and now it will not give us any error and if we try to run it let's see what's it what's in the output and now it is losing some value Here we are losing the value after this point and if you are okay with that then you can use explicit conversion. So let's summarize this. Implicit conversion is possible when two types are similar kind of types. It means the value which you are going to convert into a new type is not going to be either truncated or round off after storing it into that variable. So there implicit conversion is possible otherwise if value is going to be truncated or round off in a variable where you are going to store it we will we will use explicit conversion in that case so that's it for now we will catch up in next video